that was indeed everything that I wanted to take care of around here. Uh, before we move on, I have skill trees that I wanted to point out. Uh, Ryan did actually complete battle character. Increases attack power of equipped weapon. That will be nice. So I moved him over to Unrelenting Spirit. Prevents incapacitation from lowering tension. That is definitely useful in some certain fights. And then he will eventually get to healing inspiration eventually. But uh, we're going to continue with Spirit for the time being. Uh, also, uh, we will eventually take on the, uh, the quest to go to the top of the Exile Fortress. But once again, I'm just kind of putting that off for the time being. We need to head back to Colony 9 because we have completed another quest and we are going to head to the Etherlight because it's the easiest way for me to get up there. We have found all of Cheryl's son's stuff. Uh, she only shows up, unfortunately, until noon, so it is already the wrong time. I still have Dunban in the lead. I think that'll work for this one. I don't think we need Shulk in the front for this one, uh, but we want more affinity with Dunban, so we'll have him to uh, talk to people even. If I could say things, it would help. Cheryl, found all your son's stuff. I'm still sorry that he's dead though. Did they give Cheryl a deep man voice? No, I'm not doing it. I don't believe it. There's no question. This is my son's armor, gun, and knife. He saved up so hard to buy them. I remember how he smiled when he changed into his new armor. I have no choice but to accept it. Nothing will bring my son back. But at least some part of him has returned to the place he grew up. For that, I am very grateful. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. Man, he's so cool! <laughs> I did bring Ryan back into the party and... He's dreaming. I gotta try that out myself a couple times, too. What is it, Ryan? You're looking pretty smug. On behalf of both my son and myself, thank you very much. And Cheryl is now gone. Cheryl ha now has some keepsakes of her son. They will serve to ease her pain a little. We get 4,500 gold, 1,500 experience, and a bomber lancer for that. We have a lot of new equipment that I will eventually look over. We're over halfway to level 33 for a couple people already. Now, where did Cheryl go? I have to actually think about that one because I want to speak to Cheryl again. Uh, but she moves, right? She moves. She's no longer here. Unfortunately, I didn't have in my notes that she would move on me. Uh, I think that... She just continues to walk around? No? Yeah, there she is. How you doing? I want to talk to you again. I saw old man Dionysus recently. I hadn't spoken to him in years. He comforted me about my son. It was so nice of him. He used to help my boy out too. He might not look it, but, but Dionysus is one man you can truly rely on. And we get an affinity update for this one. Uh, this is one of the things that I would never have found out without uh, the wiki. After you complete quests, you can talk to people again and raise affinity between them. But you have to talk to certain people, and sometimes during uh, certain times of day. Like, not even all the times that they're out. Uh, but we get old friends between uh, Cheryl and Dionysus. Also, she is referred to as a sad OAP. I don't know what OAP is supposed to stand for, uh, but it was brought to my attention that the A and E that was brought up was another British saying, it's for accidents and emergencies, I believe it was, uh, which is the equivalent of what we call an ER in America for an emergency room. You know, the, the emergency room. <laughs> I like ours better than accidents and emergencies, but theirs makes sense too. All right, so that is that. Let's talk to her one more time. I just couldn't admit he was gone. That's why I caused all this trouble for everyone. Thank you so much for helping me snap out of it. That was no way to honor my son's memory. While we're here, I did say that I would talk to all the unnamed NPCs again, didn't I? Um, do I want to take care of that now is actually the question. You know what? 
let's talk to some of the unnamed NPCs. Also, Dunban's house is now open. There is still the heart-to-heart -heart here. We still do not have access to see that. Uh, that is worth noting. Because I honestly don't know why. They should have let us see that. <laughs> they should let us see it now. Well, it doesn't matter, but uh, they will not let us see it, unfortunately. Do you have anything new to say? Colony 6 was laid to waste by Mechon? He does have something new to say. I feel like the Homs are being hunted to extinction. I haven't forgotten the war we fought a year ago. I truly believe that you and the Monado are a ray of hope. And he says something to Shulk, even though he's not in the party. Granted, he's with us in spirit, but th they clearly did not have time to uh, program, you know, individual people in my party and what the unnamed NPCs say about it. And I, I can't blame them for that. They have so much programmed into this that that's not something that I care too much about. It's just a little weird and I was confused. I'm like, is he talking to Dunban? No, he has to be talking talking to Shulk here. Pound those mech on into scrap. Just confused me. So let's go and talk to uh, more NPCs. I hear rumor. Now there's gem crafting furnace you can carry. Talk to gem man. Gem man always sets you on right track. Gem crafting any place, any time. Sounds useful to me. Can harvest crystals, make gems, all in the same place. That we can. Sonia? I don't think you have anything new to say. I've been spending a lot of time with Dean lately. He makes me go all a flutter. I may be getting on in years, but it's nice to feel young again. Yeah, I think that was what she said before. Goodbye. It's chilling what happened to Colony 6. I hope we are next. Are we next? Are we going to die? I should stop thinking like that. Selling your spoils is great, but don't forget about quests. They're both good ways to make money. So many options. Mostly quests. Selling stuff does not get you anything close. Ether lamps, get your ether lamps 50% off. I suppose people aren't thinking about ether lamps right now. But I have to try and sell them. That's why they're 50% off. Hello. The Mechon were after people, not really buildings or goods. My ether lamps are safe, so it's business as usual for me. I just wish the death toll had 50% off. And I'm depressed again. It happens. Any old woman, they give the old man voice. Have you ever seen an ether deposit? They're all sparkly. If you do come across one, don't forget to harvest some crystals. You can harvest from the same ether deposit over and over again. You just have to wait a bit. I used to do it all the time in my youth. Like, unless it's an old man with a man bun, which could happen in the future. Dear God, it could happen. But, for the time being, that's definitely an old woman. This is it, the tasty curry's back. Is Giorgio looking worn out to you? We just got attacked, but he's just serving curry like nothing's wrong. It must be taking its toll on him. I'm a bit worried. I'm glad Giorgio's curry shop didn't get destroyed in the raid. It's nice to have some semblance of normality in our lives still. Yeah, I shouldn't be talking to people. It is rather depressing around here, but they do have interesting things to say. The fighting never ends, does it? It had been peaceful here for so long, it doesn't quite seem real. Just remember, there's no shame in running from a fight sometimes. Well? Are you coping all right? I know you're fighting to ease the pain of losing your loved ones, but you can only expect so much. They'll still be gone. I'm afraid. Who's this? What the Mechon have done to Colony 6 is appalling. Maybe it was their revenge for what happened a year ago. But I didn't think Mechon even had feelings. Who's this? We're the type of people who always get back on our feet. Turning sorrow into strength. It's harsh, but it's how we survive. Jeez. There are uh, other people that I want to talk to around here. Actually, there is somebody around here in the ether that I want to talk to. We'll have to circle around, though. Everyone's calmed down at last, but it's not like we beat the mech on for good. I just hope they don't come back. Well? Don't worry, next time there won't be a single casualty. We'll all run and hide the second we see anything made of metal. <laughs> Too soon? Yes. Welcome, welcome. 
you've definitely got a bit more muscle than you used to. Once again, I assume he's talking to Shulk in particular here. But I'd steer clear of the rocky area north of anti-air battery too. The Flammy are really savage. Yeah, definitely, we're still not ready to go there. Trust me, you don't want to go there. You'll only regret it. They're in the 70s. It's just, mm, bad stuff. There are deadly monsters all over the world. Try and remember where the really strong ones are. That way you can come back and fight them when you feel up to it. That's actually good advice. Yeah, I didn't talk to the NPCs before. This is good advice for kind of the end of the game. There's definitely a point in the game where you're at level 70 and you're like, well, what do I do now? Well, you can go back and fight all those enemies and the game will actually want you to do that. And won't that be satisfying? Oh, killing Rothbart is always so satisfying. Get your lovely no pun badge. Why mech on attack colony? Colony do nothing wrong. Oh no! Might be because I steal and eat neighbor's fruit. I never do again. Because mechons are God's justice for sins. Clearly. The person that we want to talk to, though, is over here somewhere. No. Colony 6 too? Sounds like it's been a dangerous journey for you. Keep safe. Weapons and armor are both vital. Don't forget about them. But hey, I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys that. No, indeed not. Well, How are you doing? Did you notice the rubble is gone? Everyone pitched in to clear it. I think it's had a positive effect. Effect turned some frowns upside down. Yeah, you guys did that in like a day. It was amazing. It's nice for the colony to be all pretty again. Let's back off so we can actually see her a bit. Life is hard, but we've still got to live it. Speaking of living, why not help me make one? Buy something! <laughs> oh, but here is Marsha. Once again, additional affinity. This is for Cheryl's uh, The Mementos of a Sun quest. It was you that did so much for Cheryl recently, wasn't it? We used to be very close friends, but it's been hard to deal with her. Ever since her son died, she's been beyond all reason. In showing her the truth, you've done me a great favor as well. I'm truly grateful. And we get additional affinity on the chart for this. As you can see, uh, she is friends always with Cheryl. Definitely something nice there. Something nice. You have anything more to say? Do you know the little girl who plays by the colony's entrance? I believe she's called Liliana. Ooh, more affinity. She's just as spirited as my grandson when was, was when he was young. I bet she'd enjoy my biscuits. I think I'll bake her some later. It's always about the biscuits, isn't it, Marsha? You have any other qualities? Another affinity chart upgrade update. I wasn't even expecting this one. But I was going to talk to everybody eventually. As you can see, uh, there's interest between Liliana and Marsha, which is just yellow, apparently. <laughs> Rosemary still needs some work. There are definitely some people that are here by themselves. Uh, there, there's a couple that I know why. There's a couple that I don't, though. You have anything more or more affinity for me? I always like to bake anyway, and I think she'd appreciate some. I live on my own, so I don't always get a chance to share them. Now you're making me want to talk to everybody again. I should make it earlier in the day a little bit here. 10 o'clock. That'll be fine. Uh, let, yeah, let's just talk to the named people as well since they apparently can give me additional affinity too. Oh, hi. Dorothy, nothing to report. How did I sound like I was being alert and cool at the same time? I'm not just standing here to look pretty, you know. I'm helping out. Well, you're failing at two things then. Not like my brother. He never does anything worthwhile. Oh, hi. I'm not like my brother. I can succeed without even trying. What do you think? Am I a genius or just blessed with good luck? See, when you're that arrogant about it, I just have to insult you. Bring you down a couple notches. Agora Shore is on the east side of the colony. Hurry up or mom will get forget dad. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have a quest for that. I still don't want to do it. Not yet. I made up with Liliana. I'm glad I can play with my sister and have some fun again. But she hates it when she loses, so I have to go easy on her. I wonder if Liliana will be like mom when she grows up. I kind of hope she isn't. Well, <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, we're still ignoring the quest from Giorgio, aren't we? So we're not going to take care of that. We did talk to Sonia already. He does have a quest, doesn't he? Does he? I can't quite see. 
No, he does not have a quest. After some curry, mate? Better be quick, I only make 20 plates a day. Even Kenny Rohan knows it. You know, the famous artist. And we do get an update once again. Yeah, we are, we are definitely needing to talk to people as much as we can. So, Kenny Rohan is a regular at Giorgio's place. This is the busiest time of the day. If you're not eating, then I ain't listening. Eat up or move on. Anything more? After some... Eh. Even Kenny Rohan loves it. You have to refer to him by his full name. Kenny Rohan. If you just say Kenny, nobody will have any idea who you're talking about. All right, let's head over here. Isn't there somebody here? Uh, not this time. We talked to Cheryl already. Definitely looks a little bit better over by the gym man stall. Uh, don't think anybody's over here anymore. So let's head up and around and talk to people over here. We're gonna get affinity damage. It's very important. Tell me, sweetie, what's the one vital thing friends need to have? Okay, you're like alone by yourself in an alley-ish, and you called me sweetie. Just saying. Affinity, of course. What else could it be? Oh, I don't know. Rescuing your friends in battle is one way to deepen your affinity. But what about giving presents? Collectibles, for instance. And here they actually do tell you about uh, gifting collectibles. Very useful. Definitely very useful. We'll get to the collectibles in a bit when I'm kind of done it, running around the marsh. But we're not done yet. Colony 6 was attacked as well? Then there must be plenty of other parents who've lost their children. I'll never forgive the Mechon. I'll despise them until the day I die. I want to avenge my son's death, but I can't fight the Mechon alone. It's incredibly frustrating. There must be plenty of people in Colony 6 who want justice. If only we could join forces. I don't know, what about Colonies 1 through 5 and 7 and 8? What happened to them? How long ago did they go under? What? There are weapons and armor with holes in them? Maybe holes are to put gems in. That makes them stronger. There is also equipment that comes with gems stuck in holes. In No Pawn Homeland, we call them unique equipment. We call them that too. I'm not sure if that's new or not. It shouldn't be. You should have told us that earlier. I don't think uh, this guy's hanging out down here anymore. Miller, I think it was, but uh, he is not here anymore. All right, time to make it night and we'll go exploring and talking to people again. We're getting a lot of affinity out of this. Oh, I didn't talk to you. Certain monsters can poison you. I've been looking for some kind of medicine that can cure it, but it seems like there isn't one. I did hear that the ether rifles the soldiers use can cure poison. They use anti-poison bullets. If only I had any friends in the defense force. Somebody poisoned? I should, like, go out and talk to people around here. Is there somebody back here? I don't really explore back here. Yeah, there's nothing. Gem crafting best to do with friend helping out. Talk to guy over there. He know all about it. He's still trying to sell a dope on veg. Friend is friend is friend. Well, I say friend is anyone you have affinity for. That's not always the case. Is Rocco not here? Oh, that's right. Rocco moved. Rocco is over near the entrance again. I don't think I talked to you people. You went through Tefra Cave? What's it like in Colony 6? I can't believe they were attacked as well and much worse than us. Why are the Mechons so cruel? Oh, it's the woman I can't tell from this angle. Are we all doomed? I feel like soon there won't be any homes left. If there's nothing left but to wait for the day the Mechon kills us, then why are we even here? You're here as well. A strange gentleman has been calling on Sonya a lot lately. I saw them together the other day. It all looked terribly fun. Sonya's gone through so much. It's nice to see her smiling for once. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of people to talk to here. I imagine this all must be quite difficult for Liliana. She was a real daddy's girl. This new man has a lot to live up to. And you as well. I've been in a bit of a state. But now is not the time to panic. Another attack could come any day. We have to set up defenses. Otherwise, the next time could be even worse. It definitely could be. I keep on forgetting I have to talk to him twice. 
What was the Mechon trying to achieve by ca attacking Colony 9? I feel like knowing that would help us defend ourselves. All right, let's head back to the entrance and we'll make it night. Oh, there's so many people to talk to here in Colony 9. And for those of you saying too much, I hate to say it, but this is not the largest city that we will be encountering. There will be a bigger one. This is definitely one that we'll be doing the, some of the most stuff in, though. Yeah, let's make it 2,300 hours. Nobody's around here up front, right? Nope, you're here. I heard what happened to Fiora. It's terrible. She had such a long life ahead of her. I thought she would grow up, get married, and have kids one day. Apparently, though, not everybody knows everybody else here in Colony 9. Seems small enough that they should, though. During the attack, I jumped over that fence into the water. It was a narrow escape. I don't think I'd have made it otherwise. You're a chicken, then. Nothing but a chicken. It's probably the only reason he is alive, though. Can't say I blame him too much. Hello. It's a nice feeling when you beat a monster that's stronger than you. It's kind of epic, right? Just don't push it too hard. Sometimes too strong is too strong. It won't end well. None of your attacks will do any damage and you'll end up... Well, let's just say you'll regret it. Trust me on this one. Hello. Years ago, I heard something interesting from a Colony 6 trader. He said there are some monsters that only come out at night. That is indeed true. You probably didn't say anything new. Sylveon is here. Let's make sure no quests. I'm not looking for quests right now. I told a Nopon merchant called Daza some info I'd heard. It was straight from you-know-who. Something about red pollen orbs. I can't say I understood it myself, but Daza seemed really pleased. He was so grateful for the info. He paid me a handsome reward. So, uh, now I'm rich. Don't tell anyone. I want to tell him. But now we have a new connection between Sylveon and Daza. Remember, Daza's outside of uh, Colony 6, right? She's red for Colony 9. He's... Let's go with yellowish brown for Colony 6. And she is an informant for him. Hello. Anything more to say? Oh, darling, buy me a lamp, please. Maybe I'll buy just one a day so I don't go over my daily limit. Leopold is the most popular writer in the colony, so we're rolling in it. I don't, I don't trust you one bit on that. That is Leopold, right? It is. Let's... Let's make it so the camera can see him and me, and it's not too far off here. I think I talked to you already. Sylveon throwing my money in the toilet is a blessing in disguise. Being poor gives my articles this really gritty feeling. That's what makes them so popular, you see. Yes. Arno was a real gent the other day. He bought me lunch, and he said my articles have a lot more humor in them than before. Little things like that make me smile, you know? And another update to the affinity chart. We're going to have to do this more often. We might do this like almost every uh, every optional session. So, uh, it's a supreme fan between Leopold and Arno as well. We are, you know, let's take a closer look. Well, a zoomed out look, I should say, at what we have going for us so far. Look at that. That's a lot of affinity right now. Lots of things going together. Yes. Anything more to say? No, same thing. Same thing. Let's just keep running around, see if we can't find anybody else to talk to. Wasn't there somebody in here? There was. Good day. What? That's clearly a guy. The voices are just all wrong here. We homes have to sleep every night, but the Mechon are different. It doesn't matter to them whether it's day or night. We've got to be careful. An attack could come at any time. Good day. Hmm. I think Desiree is still very upset about her father's death. He was killed in the war a year ago. She's even had to close his shop. I'm sure she's wondering what her life will be like from here. Hopefully good? I don't know. Yes, no. Yay! I knew Giorgio can make yummy curry again. Curry's so yummy it make me want to do dance of curry. It because of daughter that Giorgio works so hard. So apparently everybody likes the curry with the broccoli and the fish eggs in it. That does not sound like a good combination to me. <laughs> that way curry even better than before slump. Yes, no. Working job and raising child at the same time, I bet is tough. Giorgio not just big and strong, but clever and skilled too. That he is. Shura, how are you doing? It? It's a curious kind of light that ether lamps generate. 
it doesn't seem mechanical. They're very useful, and the best part is they don't cause pollution. Now that's something worth researching. What I think you say the exact same things. There's one other thing I'm researching. The giants. Have you ever heard of them? I have their key. But my research isn't exactly proceeding as planned. I really would like to investigate some of their ruins at some point. Let's just keep going around, see if we can't find more people to talk to, maybe get some more affinity. I do want to try to max out the affinity. I'm not sure that there is an actual set. This is the max affinity that you can get, though. But we're definitely getting more. This group of young people have gathered to do something. I hope there isn't any trouble. They're over at the edge of the commercial district. They look so secretive, I reckon they're up to no good. That reminds me, I don't want that quest. I wonder if there's some way to make the ether lamps brighter. When it's this dim, it must be hard for the soldiers to do their rounds. Always thinking. Soldiers are important for that. Well? Hello. If you leave the colony, make good use of the Nopon merchants. You might have to look for them carefully, though. Some of them are really small. Well. All the Nopon are small. Maybe we can make them bigger. The shop here has got some new things in stock. It's quite exciting. I like just going and browsing. A bit of window shopping doesn't cost a thing. It costs time for them. Yay! Don't you say the same things? Trade for items is useful. Quick way to get hard to find materials and collectibles. Hard part is finding person with item you want though and getting the right affinity. I would have loved to gotten to have gotten the uh, the feather leaves and wool rocks in a trade, but we don't have anything close to the affinity required for those. We hear gossip that Francoise had very good item. Name is Sorrow Beetle. Sound yummy. Now me want yummy Sorrow Beetle. <laughs> that doesn't sound yummy at all to me. Hello. There's Desiree. If you don't mind listening, I'd like to get some things off my chest. Do you remember my father at all? He used to swing a hammer above his head all day every day. He used to build and fix machines and was really good at it too. He ran his own place. Zord Smithy, he called it. Oh. The best one in the entire colony. Everyone said it, but he died a year ago in that battle with the Mechon. And I couldn't even keep his shop open. I had to close it down. That's why it's vital that I at least find something to do with my life. You know, talking about it made me feel a lot better. I'll think it all over some more. And I'm going to ignore what you said, because I didn't know you said it. If I had known, I probably would have avoided you. I may be pretty, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. I'm always considering my future. It's just difficult since my dad passed away. What was your dad's name again? Hello. How you doing, Colony 9 resident? So the light in the residential district was just an ether lamp. A bit like the one here. I'm glad it cheered people up for a little while, though. If it had been fixed straight away, that never would have happened. Hello. I think it would be bad to look at the mysterious light all the time. We have to overcome our sorrow and keep moving forwards. Otherwise, the next bump in the road will finish us off. Bit by bit, the busy, happy times like before come back. No more bad events like that again. I hope for that at least. Yeah. The colony is safe and things look good, but there is still fight. Can Colony 9 find a way to help? Should think super hard about it. Time to do things has come. Yes, it has. And I'm off doing things. What are you guys doing? Hanging out in the same spot, but with new things to say. <laughs> I guess that helps. Oh, we better talk to Alexi before I miss him. This is horrible. Can't say I'm surprised, though. We practically let them in. He's talking about the attack. My brother died last year at the battle. He spent his life protecting this colony only to be betrayed by an incompetent and inadequate defense force. What a useless bunch of idiots. Well, that's depressing. That old woman who was always speechifying is gone now. Maybe she went to a far-off land. I hope she's returned to her senses by the time she gets back. How mean. The truth is, my grandma died without saying her last goodbyes to my parents, so the circumstances are quite similar to this in a way. I've actually been quite worried about this old woman. It was you that helped her, wasn't it? I'm so glad you did. It was indeed me. Let's see if there's anything more going on back here. Doesn't look like anybody's hanging out down here. Miller, once again, should not be here. Remember him being here at night. And it doesn't matter who you have in the lead. Maris is apparently what time you talk to the NPCs. 
I remember them continuing to talk about Tefra Cave for a good long time, but they're not doing that this time. Who's this? Ugh, this little insect is really getting on my nerves. Wait, I'm not talking about you. Who's this? This insect is really irritating. Look, there it is. No, there. Um, could you try and catch it for me? No. How you doing, King Squeeze? I'm currently engaged in an important business discussion. Kindly buzz off. What's up? I don't think he has anything new to say. I said scram! If I see your face around here again, you'll regret it. What's Hi, it's my face. Ah, he just says the same thing. King Squeeze. He's squeezing people. He's the king of it. He must be at least decent. Hi. The conversations coming from the alley up top are very intense. Makes me feel kind of unsafe. Hello. Does it now? I'm sure they're just worried and anxious after the attack, but I hope they don't keep talking in such a rough manner forever. Uh-oh. What are they talking about in that alley? Is anybody here? No, shop's all closed. Nobody's here. Oh, Desiree's here. But we talked to Desiree. Kenny Rohan's here, too. I think that art can be a way to soothe and heal our sorrows. I believe it can heal the deepest wounds and scars of war. It might take time, but everyone will come to understand as I have. What is it? I love the commercial district. So many different kinds of people. Buyers, sellers. It's interesting how differently they think. But you're not here when the buyers and sellers are. Not forgetting that curry. Its taste is truly inspirational. So we had to have heard that thing from uh, Kenny Rohan, I believe. All right, we'll head down here and we will talk to uh, the people around Sesame, but not Sesame himself, because he has that quest that I don't want. Oh, there's Kenny Rohan going back. Time travel. My girlfriend doesn't want to sing with me that often lately. I think she might've got a sore throat from singing too hard. Yes. Hopefully from singing. Sometimes she has this certain look on her face, like she's got all this stuff going through her mind. It has to just be a slump, right? No one can be geared up for singing all the time, right? How you doing, Rosemary? It's weird. My heart should be pounding, shouldn't it? I mean, we've been going out long enough for some sparks to fly, but instead I just feel empty and alone. Am I overthinking things? Hi there. Probably not. The last guy was a wild one, so I went for an elegant type this time. I guess this won't work out either. Maybe not. Yeah, Sesame still has that quest that I want that I don't want to deal with right now. There's a lot of suspicious types always huddled up in here. I don't know what they keep coming here to talk about. Whatever it is, they've gotten much more rowdy about it lately. Hello. They've gotten much more rowdy about it lately. So many people died, but they seem happy enough. Other people's grief has nothing to do with them, I guess. Is it just me, or was his lines written just a little weird? All right, so let's talk to everybody around Sesame, but not Sesame himself. You can talk to him and technically decline his quest, but, uh, well, I don't like going through all that kind of stuff just yet. Hello. Hello. The plan's finally coming together. Not long to go now. Hello. You don't go tell anyone about our plan. It's got to stay secret, otherwise there's no point. I don't know what the plan is. The plan's about to stop being a plan and start being a thing. But don't give the game away too soon. Your job is following orders. Stick to that and the plan's gonna go just great. Yes. It's taken a really long time to sort this plan out. Phew. And it couldn't have come at a better time. The colony's still reeling from the Mechon attack. Yes. Stop asking questions. Just get on with your job. Now let's make sure we talk to just the Colony 9 resident here. Our plans go well right now. Big thing will go well for me. I just know it. Big event will be big deal for Colony, I bet. Me super excited. Yay! Yay! It's the no pawn yay. All right, so... I know we haven't done much since we got to Colony 9, but since we have talked to people for quite a bit, I will continue talking to people when we come back next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined as always by the people that like talking to people. Charlotte Dunban and Ryan. Shulk doesn't like talking to people today. Maybe another day, though. He will be back for talking to people, I'm sure. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.